Yes, sir. We got the recording. Recording has started and here we go. The screen is visible. Things look fine today. My laptop is working, it seems. Huh. So you saw that the factors include topography, it could be sun, it could be the river, it could be the you know the land masses, the variation in the land masses, and that would affect. And we are supposed to start with the elements of climate. So what we see here, what we'll be discussing today is what are these climatic elements that you need to study, you need to take into care when you're talking about your project. As an architect, as a design part are the elements that you need to take care of. So the specific aspects which affect the human comfort and the use of a building, we need to focus on that. It need not be that the human comfort level is only with the thermal. You could have visual comfort as well to be taken into consideration. And the designer's task is to analyze the information and identify aspects that are beneficial to the occupants of the building. Which elements would you say which parts of the climate do you need to look at? Can you tell me so that you can start your design process? Sir, so sun and wind. See, sun and wind. Sun, by that, what do you mean? It's a very big aspect. You might be looking at the heat version, the solar radiation, right? Yes. Direction and the movement of sun with respect to the building. Yes, the direction. So you're talking something about the solar path. Yes, that is a separate aspect we need to look at. What else? What are these climatic elements? What is the most important when you uh, hear the weather every day? What is the first thing they tell about? Temperature, sir. Temperature. There is one of the first and foremost important aspect which we generally focus on. At what temperature would you say that the human body is comfortable? At around what temperature? 24 degrees Celsius. 24 different varies from 23 to 27. Generally, the air conditioning, the HVAC designers try to design at 24, 23 degrees Celsius. Anything lower than that, would you be comfortable? Yes, sir. Yes. How much, no, to sir. what extent would you be comfortable in an indoor environment? 16. 16, but can you take it for all day, 16 degrees Celsius? No, sir. Never. I mean, it would become chilly if you can just look into it. Now, what else? Temperature is the first thing they generally talk about. What else do they talk about when they tell it on the news? 
ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी है ह्यूमिडिटी ओके व्हाट एल्स सर सोइल सोइल सर वी डू इंस्पेक्ट द सोइल व्हाइल कंस्ट्रक्शन व्हाइल सर विंड सर कैन यू प्लीज अनदर टाइम रिपीट द क्वेश्चन सर ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग see these are not climatic elements orientation of the building is not a climatic element soil is not a climatic element you definitely look at the soil the question is what are the climatic elements which we need to consider when talking about a build while uh, talking about the design of a building what are these climatic elements one thing we agree is the temperature so precipitation precipitation what does that encompass precipitation like rain snow dew frost okay what else atmosphere so wind direction wind, wind, wind direction. direction direction and probably what is the else speed. other thing speed. speed the velocity direction and velocity speed okay what else the uh, maybe orientation of the building like uh, angle of Orient sunlight and it's a particular aspect that is not a climatic element right yes, sir, like climate... uh, like, uh, like for angle and intensity of sunlight like yeah uh, but that is a design aspect okay. we'll be looking into it but that's a design aspect depending on when where does your sun rise from you need to look at how would you orient your building right yes sir ah uh, the you know which organization in our country looks into this climate climatic aspects which organization the meteorological department sir i am yes indian meteorological department okay so they are not uh, going to collect your building orientation as such so there are i think six or seven the temperature first and foremost and the most important aspect that you generally look at humidity somewhere temperature and humidity are very much related you say that the temperature today is 45 degrees celsius and bring with it a humidity of relative humidity of say 80% you would be tortured like anything and bring that humidity down to 20% again also it's a rather worrisome thing you need precipitation the rainfall especially in india we look at rainfall high conditions how clear is the sky is it cloudy is it bright is it not bright the solar radiation how much is the solar radiation that is incident on the surroundings the wind a very major aspect you combine temperature in your design if you can just combine the temperature humidity precipitation and wind you can sort out most of the climatic aspects with respect to your project you can very well get a sustainable building a climate responsive design and the special elements which would be with respect to your surroundings the trees the topography and all that the so temperature so can you um, explain more about sky conditions or how does sky because all these factors relate or uh, give an outcome to the sky how does sky affect a building okay we will be looking into it separately fine we will be looking into a different slide we will be discussing each element separately fine okay sir okay sir okay what is dbt can you tell me dbt anyone the temperature that you hear on the news what is the temperature today um, anyone hemant where are you from hemant Yes, sir. Yeah, where are you from? Sir, Ghaziabad. 
Ghaziabad. What is the temperature today there? Sir, it is around 29, 28. 20, 29 degrees. You can see it from your phone, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, 29 degrees Celsius. Fine. Uh, are you comfortable in the temperature today? Yes, sir. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. Okay. Anyone else uh, say, why is it raining heavily? Mumbai? Sir, Odisha, Bhubaneswar. Bhubaneswar. How much? It, it's uh, raining like anything, I guess. Yes, sir. Send something to Varanasi as well. Uh, how much is the temperature there? Sir, today is like uh, 86 degrees Check Fahrenheit. Huh? 86 degree Fahrenheit, I think. Degree What is it? Don't Hello. use the uh, stupid American standards. The so star is requesting. Not... Why? Nas? How much is it? Hello. 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 Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, but uh, what happened to this guy? Fine. So when you talk about temperature, you might have, say, 35 degrees Celsius. And here today, what is the temperature I have? I have in Varanasi 28 degrees Celsius. Not that comfortable. It is okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it. Sir, sir Abhishek. 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 Yes, audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now. Yeah. Somebody lost connection to family. Yes, sir. So, when you talk about temperature, it is the subject to cyclic variations during the day throughout the year following the periodic oscillations, maxima, minima, related in relation to the peak sunshine. Uh, temperature, which temperature? I mean, uh, see, today now it is 28 degrees Celsius. After two hours, it will be 29 degrees Celsius as the sunshine increases. After a certain time, it will be, say, 32, and then gradually it would come down to, say, 26. At night, it may come down to 22 and tomorrow it would be something else. So there is a huge variation in the temperature, in the climatic element which are talking about temperature. And it's rather difficult. So which areas should I be focusing on? And the temperature it is greatly influenced by the geographical factors, like the latitude and the hydrography. As you move away from the um, what is the equator, the temperature generally starts reducing towards the poles. The hydrography, how much is the surrounding water, the same latitude. Say, for example, I am talking about, um, give me an option here, Pune and on the other side, I guess, Mumbai. They are on the same latitude and on the other side, you have say Nagpur, almost on the same latitude level. The, the temperature is rather varying in all of these places, right? Do you agree? Yes, sir. Mumbai is near the seashore. It's rather humid. Pune in general uh, has a balanced climate all over the year in general, as I'm saying. Whereas you go towards Nagpur, it becomes rather dry all throughout the year. And the temperature, it varies. I mean, summers are too hot and winters are, I guess, towards the colder side. So there is a huge variation. Yes, sir. The, factors. the topography, altitude and topography. What is this altitude? For example, you are talking about say at the same altitude level if i at the same latitude level i have two places i would say chennai and uti uti probably they are near the same uti kurg or kodaikanal 
they are almost near the same latitude level, but their altitude varies. Kodai Canal, if I remember correctly, it's quite high over the mean sea level. So even though they are having the same latitude, the topography varies, the altitude varies, and therefore the temperature also starts varying. The surface textures, the composition and the color of the soil, the surface of the varying elements nearby, location, urban or rural. If you are towards the urban side, um, the temperature would be on the higher side because due to the heat island effect on the rural areas in the rural areas the temperatures are generally lower so there is something known as dry bulb temperature it is a sensible temperature typically measured by a thermometer with a dry bulb the temperature that you see on your phone, the temperature that you hear in your news or on your newspaper, that generally is the dry bulb temperature. But does it actually tell you? I mean, the 29 degrees Celsius that uh, I think Gaziabad fellow, Hemant, right? Hemant was telling us, now that temperature, 29 degrees Celsius, may not be a comfortable temperature in general but still that fellow is telling that he is comfortable Hemant is telling that he is comfortable at 29 degrees celsius because that is what he is seeing on his phone that is what is the imd is reporting fine but is that the temperature you are, are you feeling the 29 degrees celsius temperature on your body How much is the temperature in uh, Abhishek's place? Sir, 28 degrees Celsius. Where are you? Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Bhubaneswar. You went to your uh, native, right? During certain place, Sir? certain time. You were in your native no. for some time, right? Native means I don't I mean, remember. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before uh, this. Where is it? Sir, uh, near only Nayagad, Ranpur. Where? Near Bhuvaneshwar? Not near, like uh, 300 kilometers to 200 kilometers. Which place? Far. Nayagad, Ranpur. Okay, I don't recall. Okay. Fine. So, this 29 degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Celsius that you are talking about, are you actually feeling that 28 degrees Celsius on your body? No, so sir, I don't talk, think so. You don't think so, we'll look into it. So this uh, temperature DBT is measured using a Stevenson screen. You can see the Stevenson screen here, right? Yes, sir. This equipment is known as the Stevenson screen. And inside that you have various equipments which are used for measuring the temperature and different climatic aspects, including wind motion, precipitation, uh, humidity as well. Now, let us look at this image. Can anyone tell me what are your observations from this image? From this Stevenson screen? What are your observations? So which image, right or left? The left one. Yeah, the left one. That is the only one that's visible now. Uh, tell me, what are your observations from this left image, or whatever image is left on the screen? Measured in rural area. Measured in rural area. Chalo. area. Why do you say? Uh, okay, who is said this? Itisha. No, sir, Priyamvada. Priyamvada. Uh, where is it? How do you say that it's in a rural area? Because this too much greenery to say that too it is an urban it can't be urban area because there's loads of greenery so you might be saying that it is uh, in a open space this equipment has been set up yes sir okay what else so maybe it's in the morning by seeing the shadow it's about i 10. was moving this equipment all day okay 
So it has to be somewhere. Maybe it's morning. Maybe it's in the evening. What else can you say about the equipment per se? Receives the service. direct sun. Huh? Receives the direct sun rays. Receives the direct sun rays. And what do you mean by that? It means that uh, the actual temperature uh, of the surrounding is measured by it. The actual no, outside temperature. How do you say that it is measuring the direct sun? Sir, exposed to it. Okay, there is nothing in the surroundings, so you are saying that it is getting the direct sunlight, right? There is nothing in the surroundings. So there is no building to reflect or there is no tree to cover up the equipment. That is what you mean? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what you mean, right? Yes, sir. Okay, who is this? Tushar? Sir, Aman. Aman. Okay, thank you, Aman. Uh, where is Tushar? Yes, sir. Uh, what are your observations? I'd like to know. Uh, सर मैं से जितना सनलाइट इसमें ज्यादा पड़ेगी मतलब आसपास कुछ नहीं होगा तो ज्यादा बेटर ये मेजर कर पाएगा ये तो बोल दिया अमन ने व्हाट इज आर योर ऑब्जर्वेशंस सो इट्स अबाउट मीडियम हाई ट्रेड नॉट यू आर नॉट तुषार यू आर नॉट तुषार सर यही आया यही ऑब्जर्वेशन यही ऑब्जर्वेशन हमें भी आया था सर पहले हां चलो अब लेट हो गया ना उसने बता दिया और क्या बता रहा है और और क्या बता सकते हो और तो सर कुछ नहीं कौन थी लुक एट योर ऑब्जर्वेशन नेक्स्ट हु एल्स कैन से एनीथिंग अनुमे अनुमे आर यू देयर और एब्सेंट टुडे यस सर आई एम देयर हां टेल मी व्हाट इज योर ऑब्जर्वेशंस देन uh in which thing sir hello anume don't want to attend the class please don't sir uh don't know what is the question going around sir uh anume sir you are you are not audible yeah i am not audible now now or before also prior to this also is not audible so actually my network is fluctuating over here so uh, there is something some problem i can hear there is music playing in your background i don't think there is a network issue there anume yes sir uh, there is some network issue sir someone is calling me Uh, anume please leave the class i mean okay go back home you are already in your room go back home sir i am attending sir i don't think you are attending i am attending sir then tell me what i am what is the question at least tell me that hello sir yes sir ek observation aur aaya kon hai ye tushar ha do minute बात बताना टाइम निकल गया आपका अनुमे कैन यू टेल मी एट लीस्ट द क्वेश्चन इज नो पॉइंट अदर देन तुषार तुषार व्हाट इज योर ऑब्जर्वेशन टेल मी सर ये थोड़ी सी हाइट पे है सर हां तो मतलब क्या मतलब जैसे ग्राउंड ज्यादा हीट हो जाए तो उसकी हीट उस पर ना पड़े वो एग्जैक्ट टेम्परेचर में मेजर कर पाए ग्राउंड यस अराउंड व्हाट फोर फीट फाइव फीट अब द ग्राउंड द एंटायर सेटअप राइट इट इज नॉट राइट ऑन द ग्राउंड आई थिंक गोमती वॉज ऑल्सो सेइंग द सेम थिंग यस यस सर हाँ लिटिल बिट अब द ग्राउंड सो दैट यू गेट डोंट गेट द डायरेक्ट 
heat from the ground or the temperature that you are going to record is not you know affected by something so ye to hua the surroundings we saw the surroundings the box the box that you see here it's white white why is it white सर शायद हीट 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 रेडिएशन रेडिएशन रिफ्लेक्ट रिफ्लेक्ट करने करने के 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 लिए 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 बॉडी टाइप यस सर 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 डज़ नॉट एनी 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 यस लगता है कि एयर सर्कुलेशन भी स्पेस है मतलब लग रहा है कि एयर सर्कुलेशन के लिए भी स्पेस रखा है उसमें ताकि मतलब ह्यूमिडिटी वगैरह पता चल जाए जिससे एयर एयर सर्कुलेशन सर्कुलेशन के लिए Okay, uh, I'm back. What we have here is, I think Abhishek was telling me that there is something visible on this face, right? This yes, plant, sir. The, right? Yes, sir. These are louvers. So something to do with the ventilation. The air should pass through the entire box. It is white in color, fine. And, and the way it is placed, can you? Tell me anything about this roof part, Hemant. Would you? Can you tell me anything about this roof? Hemant. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah, can you tell me anything about the roof of this daba? Sir, slanting a little. Slanting is. Fine. What else is your observation, sir? I think. Tell me. No bolo, idea. Bolo. No idea. Okay, slanting. That's a good observation. Can anyone tell me why is it slanting? Sir, so that the rain drops. Yeah. Rain water should not be Rain water. Sir, this is solar panel. बेबी 
Premvada? Yes, sir. What else is your observation in this room? Uh, Anything special you can observe? Anyone can tell me. The double layered roof, as sir. Double layered roof. Yes. The, the roof. roof is a gap. Huh? Man. Roof thodi si gap. Man. Box. Haan, there is a gap between the box and the roof over it. There is a you know slight gap. Why is it there? That's a double roof. Insulation, sir. Huh? Overheating na ho jaye isliye. Yes. So you are trying to record the actual temperature using this DBT and the other things that Stevenson screen actually houses a lot of equipments together, including a hygrometer, including a wet bulb thermometer, everything. What it does is you are trying to measure the actual temperature. You just don't take out the thermometer outside and hold it in the sun and say ki mera measurement itna a raha hai. Probably your thermometer is going to be affected by uh, the heat that is getting reflected from the you know nearby building. Probably it is getting affected. You place the thermometer right on the you know black top road, and it gets heated up. It will show a very different temperature than what your IMD is actually reporting. So this equipment, which houses uh, in this uh, diagram, here you can change the pen color. In this diagram, if you can see this, these are the thermometers. The DBT and the other thing is WBT, wet bulb thermometer and the dry bulb thermometer. This probably is for measuring the humidity, if I'm not wrong. Sir, it's a barometer. Huh? Sir, it's a barometer, I think. It's a barometer. The pressure. Yeah, pressure. And pressure. there are several other equipments. I am unable to recognize them at present. But this equipment, this Stevenson screen, is a very special equipment. What I like it is, it is a little bit above the ground, it directly doesn't try to take the temperature from the ground. You know, whatever heat is getting reflected. There's a sloping roof and there is a double roof. The slope, sloping roof is actually, it also houses uh, a gauge for collecting the precipitation. So for that purpose, the sloping roof comes in to favor. The double roof is so that you know, the roof gets heated up and the temperature that is getting recorded gets affected. No. So just imagine that you are sitting inside this room. It's a three by three by three meters room. You are sitting inside it. Whatever you are feeling, you have an air movement passing through your room. You have, you know, you're not exactly sitting right on the road and then you say it's so hot on a warm summer day. You are sitting inside a room which is ventilated as well. Painted white. I could have painted it black as in a solar cooker and say that it's very hot. But no, it is painted white so that you get the actual temperature. It can be recorded. The lowered screen for the purpose of ventilation. The grass surface. Grass, not a barren land. Why this the heat that is reflected is rather low. That is why you have the usage of grass. So Just what about the material of which it is built? Believe it is made of wood. That's a good question there. If you want right? Yes, sir. Uh, that's a good question there. I'll try to get all these equipments into our department so that if not now, 
but at a later date i can give you a hands on usage of these instruments and it is in the open away from different buildings so this stevenson screen it is a small weather station that is used to measure, measure the local weather conditions it consists of a hygrometer a wbt and weight bulb thermometer and the dry bulb thermometer a conventional thermometer a barometer outside this equipment you have the rain gauge an anemometer and a wind vane the commonly used data when you talk about the temperature the monthly mean temperature for each month I, as i said the temperature can be recorded for each minute each second but you don't need that much information how many seconds are there in a day you don't need that huge amount of information if you have the mean temperature for each month you get an overall estimate the monthly mean range the minimum the maximum so today the maximum is going to be say 32 degrees celsius in varanasi and the minimum i'm talking about location wise and the minimum is somewhere say around 15 degrees celsius so the mean maximum and the minimum to understand uh, what is the difference between the first one and the second one monthly mean temperature and the monthly mean range you understand the difference yes sir between the yes sir what is the difference sir monthly mean uh, temperature is the average and range is like from minimum to maximum monthly mean range it is not just range okay it's not the range just check it it's mean range not just the range the monthly range is something else today on 1st of august i have um, uh, the minimum temp Temperature is say 15 degrees Celsius, and the I take all the temperatures, and then I have the highest temperature within the month. Not that you take each and every day, you find out like what is the minimum and the maximum, and then you do the range for that month. monthly mean temperature you take each individual temperature data you probably collect the data for every hour you have 24 data 24 into 30 days and then you find the average of all that data that is the first one the mean temperature for each month monthly extreme range monthly extreme maxima and minima one side you are talking about the mean max and the mean maximum and mean minimum temperature and you therefore find the monthly mean range so overall what is the maximum for 30 days of the month and what is the what is the minimum for the entire month and then you do the average of it that is the second item the third item it talks about what are the extremities are you getting me here for this three data yes sir understood so you have to explain it again see the first one is like as i said you have a huge amount of data for your entire day even if my instrument collects the data every hour for 30 days of my month and for all 365 days of the year how much data will i be having it's a huge amount right yes 24 sir. hours into 30 days or into 30 days into 12 months 
you have, have a huge amount of data and that much you cannot exactly analyze. So to understand, we reduce the data for our own perception. So first thing we talk about every month. We don't talk about every three months or quarterly analysis, nothing doing that. We talk about each month. We take each month's data and we do a mean. So this 30, sorry, 24 data of the day. You do into all these 30 days. How are you? OK, so 24 into 30, how much is it? 720. Whatever is the data for that, you do the mean. OK. Clear the first yes, one? Sir. Yes, sir. That is your simple mean average. The okay. second one, you're talking about the mean range. The range of the means, mean maximum and the mean minimum. Mean maximum, say on this day, today is what, 24th of August, the maximum was somewhere at around mm, 36 degrees Celsius. The minimum was somewhere at around 20, so 12 degrees Celsius. Tomorrow it will be something else. So this 36 plus 34, I'm talking about on the higher side, plus something, something, something. That divided by the 30 days of the month, that is the mean maximum. Got it? Yes, sir. so we just take two temperatures a day, maximum and minimum for this. And the maximum and minimum, you find the range for the entire month. month. But then oh. you don't get what are the extremities. I got 36, 34. When you do the mean, you get probably 35. It doesn't include that someday the temperature might have actually touched 42. And someday in the same month, the temperature might have dropped below say 10 degrees, whereas your average, the mean minimum temperature is showing an average of say 12 degrees Celsius. So that is where comes in the utility of this maxima and minima. Okay. Got it? Yes. Anyone else? Everyone, everybody has got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just uh, try to make it a moving class. I mean, don't sit quiet. Don't be passive. Yes, sir. Be active in the class. So this diagram, I believe sir, I told uh, you. Uh -huh. Sir, from where do we collect the previous data? Uh, like uh, while we are doing on a project of which uh, department of which hmm. from where should we collect the source? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Ah, look at this screenshot. I mean, I generated this screenshot two days back. I mean, I didn't get it from the internet. So we have the data available. Note down a software which goes by the name Climate Consultant. I believe I wrote the name in the last class as well. Yes, sir, you mentioned that. I'm mentioning it again, climate consultant. It's in the chat box. You would be needing it for your next assignment. So download it. It's a free software. Just do a search and probably the Department of Energy USA may, be, may give you access to this software. It's not a tough one to get. OK, so and this screenshot you are seeing, this is also from the same place. And you also would need EPW files, EPW files. EPW files, it holds the information about the climate for different locations. It has, I mean, I'll send you the link for the website. It has data for Asia, China, almost everywhere, Asian every countries, South Pacific. So it has information about a lot of places. From India also, Ishri, 
I S H R A E has uploaded lot of information. This data is also from the data source. You can see here is Ishre. A lot of data is there. So you can download and the software will read the information and this is how it will present. Now what you see here is. Is the screen visible to everyone? Can you can you see these dots up at the top? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are they dots or numbers? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, the numbers are not that much visible, probably. So you have these dots and everything. So what does it show? The recorded high. These dots at the top are showing the recorded high and the lowermost one is showing you the recorded low. Then there is the average high, the yellow one. Top level is showing you the average highest temperature. So in the month of June, Delhi has an average temperature of about mm, 30, what? 38 degrees Celsius, I believe. Most probably, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, whereas uh, the lowest is somewhere at around 26, 27 degrees Celsius in the month of June for Delhi. What else do I have? The mean temperature. The mean temperature in the month of June is again on the higher side, somewhere around 34 degrees Celsius. The mean actually doesn't give you the entire idea about what is the average high temperature and average low temperature, right? And what more? It doesn't even tell you that on certain days the temperature reaches a value of around in the month of June. It reaches a value of around 45 degrees Celsius as well. That you won't get if you look at just the average value. Now you understand what was talked about here, why we need to consolidate the data. I believe you understand here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you see this green part. This green part here. And this green part below. What are these? From the legend, can you tell me? Can you read the legend there? Yes, sir. Hmm. Design Kasa. low, design high. Design low and design high. When talking about the design days, there is something known as the design days concept wherein you take into consideration uh, a certain percentage for which at the leftmost corner, if you can see, just hold on. It shows you design high residential. Can you read the legend there? Do I need to make it larger? We can read it, sir. Yeah, it says 1% of hours above. And design low, it says 0% of hours below. So for the entire month, we can already figure out that 
the maxima and the minima for the certain month of june is much higher than whatever is the average high and at the average low right we can figure it out but this design high is actually telling you for the entire hours of the month that means 24 into 30 how much is it 720 hours out of that we are talking about those 1% of hours above. 1% of this 720 hours, how much is it? 720 hours in a month, right? Yes, it's about 2.7 hours a month. 1%. Or 7.2. Calculator to be rafta hoga. How many hours are there in a month? 720. 720. 1% kitna hours ka? 7.2. 7.2. So for that 7.2 hours, what this graph is telling me, for the 7.2 hours, the temperature is above the average high. For how many? And what is the range of that? The smaller is this green one. There is lesser deviation from this yellow bar. Got it? Till now, are we together in this? Yes, sir. Clear yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the annual one again, you can see here that the average is somewhere at around 25 degrees Celsius, whereas the range is actually much higher. June gets a peak. Again, uh, one more thing you would find is that the temperature or the climatic data which we are talking about here it varies from year to year i have a data of around 2009 when i completed my masters and i have a data of 2020 and there is a big difference in the data of these two years as well so the, the data is gradually getting updated and i have seen there is a huge difference this data which you are seeing here is the latest one when you talk about climate change, earlier, somewhere in the month of May, the highest temperature was recorded in New Delhi. Now it is in June. And you also see this gray part, comfort zone summer and winter, this gray part. This is the comfort level. And again, you should note that the comfort level for summers is something else and the comfort level for winters is not the same as the comfort level for summers. Can you say that? Can you see that? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Aaj lunch ke baad kiska class hai? Or Simran, ma'am. Kya padha rahi hai, ma'am? Abhi, ma'am, uh, sir, building bylaws and codes. Building bylaws. Hello. Okay, now look at these four data. Chennai, how much is the range of the temperature? All the graphs which I have here is having an overall starting from zero and on the higher side up to 45 except for bangalore okay so how much is the range of the annual range of the temperature for chennai so around 36 7 to start from uh, starts from what is the lowest 
This is the mean. Mean high and mean low. Where is the average? Average how much? Annual average? Twenty-eight. 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 Chalo, acceptable at twenty-eight degrees Celsius. And overall, we just go rehne dete hain. This is the comfort zone. Now again, you can see here the comfort zone is, I believe, the same for almost all locations. Now the minima and maxima for the annual part, how much is it for Chennai? You are saying 18 to 41. That is the range. Whereas for Delhi, it starts. Look at the lower one and look at the higher one. The minima and the maxima annual. Five to about 45. Six degrees, five to six degrees, and on the higher side, around forty-five degrees Celsius. The design that I make for New Delhi won't be workable for Chennai. Are you able to understand now why this climatology steps in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer, the lowest is at. Three, four degrees Celsius. The highest is somewhere at around thirty-five, forty, forty-five, even over forty-five. Comfortable level. The margin that you need to take care of is huge. So the temperature. This is the dry bulb temperature. You are actually seeing the range of the temperature. Which you can, you know, which you hear in the news, which IMD, Indian Meteorological Department gives you. That is what you are seeing here. The other thing which actually jumps in is the humidity. Humidity is where you start feeling the temperature. What you are actually feeling is. Something which includes the humidity as well. The same 45 degrees Celsius in Chennai and the same 45 degrees Celsius in Delhi will give you different feelings on your body. You accept that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many of you are from coastal regions? Hmm. So, how many coastal regions? Mumbai, one fellow is there, right? Gomti is there. Yes, sir. And sir, even Ahmed. Yes, sir. Me too. Anyone else? Priyamvada, Chennai. Yes, sir. Priyamvada is from Chennai. Chennai is like one of the worst cities no, to stay. Sir. People say. I'm in Hyderabad, no. not Chennai. Hyderabad. Yes, sir. You're not from Chennai. Not Chennai. Anyone from Chennai? No one. Oh, one more thing, just tell me. All of you are from different cities, right? Uneshwar, sir. Maybe coastal. No, no. Yeah. Is staying in the same city, right? No, sir. No, sir. You haven't met each other in the past six months. That means. Yes, we have not met. Very sad. Very sad. 
it's almost the same time uh, for which I have been here and I have also not seen you. So there is something known as humidity, which is the absolute humidity. The amount of moisture that is actually present in your air. So you either get it in grams per kg or grams per meter cube. But that is not the data which you hear during your news, news telecast. In the weather section, what do you hear? What type Average. of humidity will you do that tell you? Yes. Tell me. You hear the relative humidity. The ratio of quantity of water vapor actually contained in the air to the maximum amount that can be contained before condensation occurs. That is the relative humidity which you hear. You don't hear ke how much air is, how much vapor or moisture is there in a certain kg of, in a unit kg of air, but rather you hear that how much it can hold and how much is actually there. That is the relative humidity which you get to know of. So relative humidity is the absolute humidity by the saturated humidity into 100 percent. That is what you hear in your news. I mean, for our work, mostly we will be focusing on the relative humidity. So there is something known as the wet bulb temperature. There is a temperature read by a thermometer in which the bulb is covered in a water soaked cloth over which air is passed. Understood? Yes, sir. So what happens? Pompey, you please don't answer. Let's see if others have understood. Anyone else would like to give an attempt? What does it mean? And what do I get? Anyone? Or do you like to take five minutes break? What happened? All of you vanished or? Sir, what is the question? What was the question? What do you understand by this wet bulb temperature? What happens when this water soaked cloth is used? Temperature decreases. Uh, Why? The temperature decreases. So, uh, because it's wet, and uh, we all know water is the best coolant around. So yes, it might. Affect, so it might affect okay. the temperature a little bit. The cloth is water soaked. What happens when yes, air sir. is passed over it? Sir, but what it has to do with, sir, but what it has to do with lowering the temperature, I mean. Uh, uh -huh. Bolo. The water evaporates when the, some hot air is uh, passed through it, maybe. Okay. So, what does, what was the previous question? Somebody amongst you put up a question. Who was it? Questions are OK with me. Who was it? 
sir i was saying that what it has to do with lowering the temperature what it has to do with you aman right this is aman aman saying i can't understand that yes sir uh -huh. see what you are feeling on your body is not the dbt the temp the thermometer which you hold it in your hand okay you hold the temp thermometer and you read some temperature on it but as a person you also have say moisture on your body and there is a uh, air which is passing the natural breeze which is passing whenever and also you know evaporation occurs in a regular manner evaporation of, of water is it a exothermic or endothermic reaction exothermic it's an endothermic or exothermic tell me एंडोथर्मिक है एडियाबायोटिक एवेपोरेशन होता है ना तो एंडोथर्मिक है एंडोथर्मिक इट एब्सॉर्ब्स द नियर बाय टेंपरेचर हीट यस सर इट लोअर्स द टेंपरेचर इन द थर्मोमीटर अंडरस्टूड यस सर सो द टेंपरेचर दैट यू गेट इन योर डब्ल्यूबीटी विल बी मोर देन योर डीबीटी और लेस लेस सर लेस लेस Yes. Yes. Will yes. it ever be sir, more? Will sir, it ever be more sir, than your DPT? Sir, but uh, that was not the question. I was asking that what it has to do with humidity. What it has to do with humidity? Fine. What it has to do with humidity? Can anyone help Amman here? What it has to do with humidity? If the temperature is high, the humidity can be. more to i guess i mean the humidity will be less no no how to measure humidity by using this i mean hmm how to measure humidity there is something known as a psychometric chart so maybe Maybe the difference between the wet and the dry temperatures calculated by both the thermometers that difference doesn't give you the humidity the humidity value that difference gives you the depression point but what it has to do with humidity just understand here appreciate the fact that if your surrounding air say in chennai is moist chennai has a moist air all throughout the year or say all throughout the month of may okay and the dbt which you got as 45 degrees celsius fine now if you are talking about the next one the uh, the wbt in the month of may when the humidity is on the higher side say at around 95% how much air i mean uh, will more water evaporate from the soaked cloth or less water if the humidity is at 95% less less, less. So forty-five the degrees. The air centuries. already contains some amount of water. So the evaporation would be slower, right? So the DBT, yes. which was forty-five, now how much will it be in your WBT on the same day? Bolo. Will it be closer to forty-five? i am saying the rh which your meteorological department told you say at around 95% the dbt approximately how much will it be sorry the wbt how much will it be approximately 
greater than 45 we already figured out it won't be more than your dbt it won't be more than your dbt sir please explain again uh your normal temperature the bulb is dry now okay the bulb of your thermometer is dry now and you recorded a temperature of 45 degrees celsius now you kept the bulb wet and you are letting air pass over the uh, the wet wick of your thermometer fine if there is more amount of moisture in your environment in your atmosphere the evaporation will be faster or slower 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 ah huh? understand slow slower Yes, the person who slower. asked the question, समझ में आया? Sir, slower. Yes, slower. sir. Got it. Got it. So, if the evaporation is slower, what will happen on the reading of your wet bulb temperature, wet bulb thermometer? It will be low. Forty-five आएगा या उससे कम आएगा? Less than forty. Lower than forty-five. Because evaporation is a endothermic reaction right yes, clear sir. clear yes sir agar yes, humidity sir. is on the higher side uh, please don't mind for those of you whose hindi is not the first language but uh, to make it convenient for everyone i am sometimes using hindi okay so if i am trying to increase the humidity if the humidity is higher the wbt reading as i said dbt is 45 and the relative humidity is 95% how much will be the wbt approximately 42.75 kisne bataya yaar application mil gaya net pe Where did you get this forty-two point seven five? So approximately forty-three degrees Celsius or forty-four degrees Celsius. But if the RH is equal to say thirty percent, the WBT. How much will it be for the same DBT? Forty-six, maybe greater than forty-five. Like Why will it be greater than forty-five? Again, evaporation is going to occur. Okay. In your wet water-soaked cloth, evaporation is going to take place, right? Yes, yes, sir. That is for sure. So, what will be the WBT now? bata do with this we will end the class today tell me what will be the wbt here i believe 43 is the right answer how much will it be now kitna hoga so less than 43 less than 43 yeah to around how much से 30 डिग्री सेल्सियस मैं कंफ्यूजन हटाने के लिए व्हाट आई विल डू इज अराउंड 36 डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस डब्ल्यू बी टी इज द टेम्परेचर दैट यू फील ऑन योर बॉडी dbt is what actually the hold on please dbt is what actually the imd tells you whereas wbt is what sir 29 degree celsius 29 degree celsius what you feel is much lower much much lower
there are other problems also 45 degrees celsius outside and you're feeling at a much lower range i mean if you have stayed in multiple locations you would feel this difference you stay in delhi during summers and you stay in chennai during summers the comfort level which you feel on your body would be much different that is what humidity actually starts playing on your comfort level that is the effect that humidity plays on your comfort level are we clear to a certain extent till now yes sir to a certain extent not everything but are you able to understand something this dbt and wbt yes sir yes, yes sir. sir yes sir okay uh, sahil did you understand yes sir we'll continue with this in the next class tomorrow is the submission date for your assignment anything you wish to ask with the assignment everything is fine sir you said something uh, about length yes. and breadth and window yes sir and about the windows i didn't understand ah. that so if your window has different type of frame your window might be having some type of frame right frame and the grill yes sir just hold on some vehicle is passing by can't help it huh so try to take that into account as well or leave it but with the windows i want a window schedule so if you have say multiple windows w or market w1 w1 is equal multiple windows of say um, 1200 by 1200 so mark the w1 with the window and write W1 is equal to 1200 by 1200. So there is something like W2, which is 1200 by, say, the height is 1200 and the width is say 600. So mark that. It will be easy for me to understand, for you to appreciate, and there is no need for elevation separately. Sir, about. Uh... Uh, i mean the window we uh, add in the section we should write measurements for that window or for all the windows in the house for all windows make a window schedule a door window schedule just do a google search you'll be able to find out what is this door window schedule you'll get it okay sir okay just do it and uh, if you want to show any progress i think abhishek has been sharing some progress right abhishek yes sir last message i couldn't reply i was a little bit busy with some personal work but i will look into them theek hai okay so okay. to see you guys soon here i mean how is your uh, feedback on this type of classes online classes how is your feedback Sir, you are going good, I believe. Sir, it's good. So good, but not better than the offline classes. That is all. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, better. Abhishek. Yes, sir. Face to face, sir, better. Yes, sir. How how is it for Naman? Naman Pandey. Yes, sir. How are the lectures through this phone? better than offline better than offline yes. but sir for only lecture classes means practical part okay and how is it for amod sir it's good uh, but the practical part should be conducted offline that's the only thing i also feel that better to meet face to face i mean uh, this mode is fine i mean to put it on youtube some lectures you can put on youtube but otherwise my classes work on your feedback on your face to face feedback 
चलो ओके आई विल कॉल इट अ डे नाउ एंड सी यू देन थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर बाय सर बाय बाय सर